men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and boundaries. Oh, like, yes, look at the men are, so you, are you, so allowed to have preferences. The the shaming language has been through the roof. It's insecure. It's controlling. You the p word, um, like it's it, it's been almost crazy. Like the degree to which you're trying to, st- uh, s- oh, fuck. What's the term? Um, you are trying to pathologize men's almost innate attraction to women who are not promiscuous. Like you're pathologizing men's attraction to women who are not whores, basically. No, I don't think well, I'm not, well, okay. we weren't saying like you guys can't have preference. I feel no, but like you're put, you're put, you're saying it's pedophilic that when men it, are attracted to women who are not yeah, because promiscuous. If you, like or look who, at society yeah. and the way things are like it's totally like this big like the porn industry makes so much money on like like fetishizing pedophilia about how like no it doesn't yes it does that's illegal they obviously they don't actually use girls who are underage but they do if you look on there there's going to be a bunch of stuff about underage things like sometimes they do actually have used girls who are underage and okay we're not going to talk because we're not going to talk about that that's why because it's tos we're not going to talk about that but yes it does happen Um, so, okay. The double standard. So you mentioned that why, why don't, what what was it that men don't want? Well, like what's the like real, like, cause I was saying that like, you don't really hear women go, oh, I need a virgin or like if she's not a virgin or he's not a virgin, I don't want it. So Mm -hmm. it's like, he's allowed to be a whore, but she can't. And also like, I don't, yeah, I don't get that. Eric, can you close the door by the way? For the guy to be a whore, but for the woman to be like very pure. Okay, well, so there's a few things. So first off, me personally, if a woman's standard is, hey, I I don't want to date a guy who's promiscuous. I don't want to date like a guy, a guy who's a player. I think that's totally fine. I don't have a double standard there. I think it does happen to be the case that generally speaking, women care far less about body count than men do. Now, as far as the double standard goes, um, the, one of the reasons why men are sort of applauded when they can have a high body count and the woman is shamed or looked down upon Mm -hmm. because she has a high body count. It has to come down. It comes down to the fact that it's impressive for a guy to be able to sleep with a lot of women, whereas it's not impressive for a woman to sleep with a lot of men. It's very easy for women to sleep with men. It's incredibly easy for women to sleep with men. Even average women, even below average women have more sexual options than like a top tier man. Mm -hmm. So that's why that double standard exists because it's, it's not impressive when women do it. And it, it is sort of stemmed, it, is, it does stem from, for both men and women, up until the 1960s, excuse me, up until the 1960s, sexual purity, chastity has been valued in both genders up until very recently. Birth control kind of came out in the, in the 1960s. That sort of opened up a lot of people's sexual options. And, you know, with religion, Christianity on the decline, I'm not making a religious argument here. I'm just saying culturally we have shifted quite a bit. It was the norm for thousands of years for both male and female chastity to be valued. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But so again, with the double standards, are there things that you desire in a partner that you do not possess yourself? Because you were saying, well, it's hypocritical for a guy who, if he has a high body count, he shouldn't want a girl who has a high body count. I mean, like, biologically, besides biological stuff, besides, like, I don't know, them having a dick, but, like... You don't know about having a dick? Yeah, like, I want them to have a dick, but I don't want... Um, I don't have one, so I'm... It's a little different, but with things um, that are, like, um, (laughs) that I can, like, can control themselves, meaning, like, personality or, like, body count or whatever, yeah, I mean, I would like for us to reciprocate the same things. Okay, let me ask you a couple questions. And I just want other people to potentially weigh in here. Um, are there things you desire? Well, do you agree with her? Do you agree with what she just said? Mm-hmm. So, so all the traits that you want in a partner, you must possess yourself. Physically, I don't think that it's the same thing. Because okay. like chastity is an experience thing. It's something you've chosen to do. Well, it could the be way a, you well, look isn't something you choose. Yeah, okay. I think, I, you know, sure. So I don't think appearance wise that has anything to do with it. But in terms of like their past experiences, sure. Okay. So you kind of, I mean, I, the, without, the way I was going to attack this was 
women want men who are tall, yet they are not tall themselves. Well, see, yeah, that's But there's more. There's, I have more. I'm tall. Huh? I, I'm tall. Okay. Did you say the minimum height you want for a guy? Yeah, I said preferably six foot or above, which six okay. foot is just like an inch taller than me. Sure. You, but you, you're 5'11", you're quite tall. However, generally, generally speaking, most women are attracted to tall men, yet they are not tall themselves. That is you desiring something in a person, which I would say someone's height is far more superficial than someone's body count. So there's that. Women want men who are funny, but they may not necessarily be funny themselves. Women want men who are charismatic, yet they may not be charismatic themselves. But this well, is like taking something like life experiences. Yeah, and also... Life I, experience? I mean, ha- some... Okay, you're, if you're promiscuous, that says something about your, your values. Why? That it's how you value sex. You, if, if you're promiscuous, sex to you, you've decoupled intimacy from sex to some degree Mm -hmm. you view sex as sport it's just sport fucking Mm -hmm. whereas some people view sex as this intimate thing that they Mm -hmm. want to have with someone in a within the confines of a monogamous relationship and it's fine if you want to do casual sex that's fine if you want to do that but it is a metric with which some guy might want to disqualify you i mean if you're promiscuous devalue you yeah you said there's less value for people who are more promiscuous i i don't think that's quite what i said but what do you mean i think a lot of these people these men you talk about who want virgins see women with more body a higher body count as less valuable they i've heard those words okay so you're talking like so there's a sexual market value relationship Mm -hmm. market value so value in the sense of not your value as a human being not your not in that sense, but in your, your value on the dating marketplace. Like you have... Okay. The guy who works at Starbucks, who's average looking, has less value on the dating marketplace than does Henry Cavill. Yeah. Or like a really attractive guy. And you might say, Brian, that's wrong. Okay. If you want to be politically correct, fine. The, the reality is, is that there are certain people that are more attractive than other people. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. But I'm confused. Wait, what does this have to do with the fact that well, I I'm said, responding to her, but But like the, um, how I said I would want my person to reciprocate the same things, but not like physical, because obviously oh. that's different. Oh, so it's, it, it only applies when it benefits you. No, like if we have the same like things, that's like, let's say... I obviously you want someone who you're similar to or you don't want someone who you're like completely opposite of but like mm-hmm. if I'm a person who doesn't go out I'm gonna want someone who doesn't go out and that's fine sure so if I'm someone who has a high body count or a low body count I would want the same thing for my partner mm-hmm. how is that like wrong like and how yeah, is that's that a double like, standard and it's a double standard for the guys to be like oh well I can have a high body count but you can't I mean obviously there's some girls out there who would love that and we'll take it but I'm just saying for me I wouldn't do it but I guess what I'm trying to say here is that there are things that you possess 